Yeah, my name is Kendall. I'm an artist. Um, I was born in South Africa. I grew up in South Africa and twice went into exile. The first because I had to leave South Africa because of my fight against apartheid. And the second because of my disillusionment with the post-apartheid country. And now I live in Belgium um, where I work as an artist. So my favorite word I would say is the word revolution. Um, because you can't have a revolution without love. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, we speak about revolution in terms of political change, which is important. But revolution is also about the cycles of life, the cycle of the earth revolving around the sun and the moon revolving around the earth. And it's these kinds of revolutions that bring us closer to our nature. So to put it in a word, but probably the word normal mm -hmm. or the word common sense because they presuppose that such a thing exists. Um, and these are just habits. And people in different parts of the world have different normals and different habits. People of different genders have different habits. And how can we normalize the experience of being a human? So I really hate it when people just assume things are the way they are because that's what we do. And I think it destroys, it destroys our humanity to be normal. Probably the cockroach, <laughs> because it survives, it's always there, no matter whether it's hot or cold, and even a nuclear disaster, um, the cockroach is just there. It's, you know, it's, 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 we, we think of it as a terrible creature, but actually, you know, they're cleaning the garbage and taking care of the things that we don't want to take care of. Silence. I appreciate it because it gives one time and space to think, to be in contact with your environment. Complaining. If there's a problem, be active in changing the problem. Complaining takes the same amount of energy as solving the problem, so just don't complain. Go straight to finding a solution. Mm -hmm. Well, that presupposes I'd like banknotes in the first place. I mean, that's already problematic. If I had to then think of somebody that one would have to um, put onto a banknote, would, I would probably say Rambo, the poet Rambo. Um, because probably the most inspiring thing I ever read was his letter where he explained that in order for him to become a poet he has to have a complete derangement of the senses he needs to dirty himself sully himself which is a, a case of completely breaking out of every habit that he has in order to reach that complete transformation into something unknown in order for him to be an artist for him to be a poet. And so if we have to make the compromise of having money, I want to be inspired by somebody who created a craft out of chaos and disorientation and surrendering to things beyond his control. <laughs> well, that would certainly be fuck. <laughs> that would be fuck because Fuck is a magical word. It's magical because it creates and destroys. The thing about fuck is that if I say fuck you, it's a declaration of war. If I say fuck me, it's an invitation to love. And how we use the word changes the word. And it's magical because there is no other word in existence that has so many layers of possibilities of meanings. If, you ha if you're happy, if you're sad, if you're angry, if you're frustrated, if you're in love, you can say fuck to all of those words and it still uh, has the correct meaning. Well, that would certainly be a functionary. Kafka was a functionary who, be, who was also a great writer, but the idea of doing the same thing every day, moving papers around, ticking boxes, following rules, applying systems would be my worst nightmare. Right now I think I'd love to be a hacker. A hacker. I, a hacker. Because I think, you know, I think hackers are just genius at this point in time. You know, they, they, they don't have to be physically anything. You can be male or female. You can be gay or straight or trans. You can be anything you want behind the screen. Nobody sees you, but you can collapse banks. You can, you can shut down governments. You can change the world. I mean, I think hackers are just um, able to um, shift, shift systems in ways which are just impossible to imagine at this point. My greatest fear, to die of boredom. <laughs> Why do you create our species? 
Why did you create the violence that our species does to one another and to the planet? Why? The world is such a beautiful, amazing place. Why disturb it with, with this absolutely monstrous creation called human beings? Could we ever end the cycle of fear and how we allow our fear to instrumentalize us and weaponize us to do bad things? You know, and the fear could be the fear of being robbed, the fear of invaders, the fear of being left out, the fear of being unloved. And those fears, the fears of not being beautiful enough, the fear of not being good enough. And those fears weaponize us and we, we do terrible things, justifying it to ourselves. You know, how many times have we heard recently people saying, yeah, you know, uh, uh, people should stop flying airplanes and, you know, we need to reduce our carbon footprint while they're sitting on an airplane flying to Ibiza because, oh, it's my little pleasure. I would say my favorite drug would be ecstasy, but not ecstasy as in MDMA, but ecstasy as in the idea of ecstasis, which is the etymology of the word. patience or humor my humor I think that the problem with humor is it's a double-edged sword and a lot of people don't know when I'm making jokes because I can make a joke with a straight face <laughs> I would say it's my arrogance I suffered a great deal as a child a lot of pain a lot of suffering and I had to become strong in order to survive but at the same time I was extremely fragile I was a broken child from a broken home and the, 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 the fragility made me violent because I was trying to defend something very precious. Um, and that translated as an arrogance, which is difficult to, it's difficult to shake it off when your entire being is full of fire and passion and the need to survive. When I don't need to survive anymore, but it has become part of my nature. So, it, you know, I perform that exorcism almost every day to try to remind myself that I don't have to always be fighting, that I can also sometimes just let go.